don't want to stop what I'm doing here working, so I'm just going to talk to you guys for just a minute here while I'm doing this. If you follow me at all, you probably know that recently we had a CFI training and certification here at the local store that I subcontract work from. Well, we are in little town about, I think there's like, the last census that I looked at was well, like 10,000 people here in Manchester. So, super small town, one strip, one highway, one main road goes from one end of town to the other. So, gives you kind of a feel what kind of town we got going on here. And uh, stuff like CFI and stuff like that, yeah, you might say, yeah, it's not too awful important. Uh, in small rural areas, areas like this, well, um, it kind of ain't, and then also it is. I'm just going to talk about that for just a second. A lot of people say, oh, I got certified, I got certified, and it didn't do nothing, nothing happened, it's just a piece of paper, blah, 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 blah. Well, a lot of people think like that in small little areas, or... If they just get certified and they leave it that, that's exactly what it is. It's a piece of paper. If you're proud of it, you can hold it up in your office, your bedroom, your living room, whatever. It's just a piece of paper. But if you use it, see if I is a tool, okay? You can have the awesomest toolbox tools in your toolbox. But if you never take them out and use it. Nothing's gonna, they're not gonna do you no good. They're gonna stay brand new, nice and shiny forever. So, same thing with CFI. If you don't use it, it won't do anything. So, we got all these redneck, quote unquote, people around here, installers. People been doing it for 20 years and so on and so on and so on. And word of mouth is a huge thing in little towns like this. So you get your word of mouth going on and people will just call you. Oh yeah, and they ask their friends, who'd you get to do? Oh yeah, so and so did a real good job, blah blah blah. You know, the carpet store you get work from. They're kind of like that. They've been in town, golly, I think since the early 80s or late 70s. One of the two. I can't be a hundred percent on that. It was a furniture store, and then they went to a flooring store, so overall, they've been around a really long time. Really, really known in this area, so uh, they do a lot of work like that, word of mouth, and so forth and so forth, but installers are the same way like that. You get... Anyway, people didn't think that it was all this and all that until just a couple of weeks before the training started. This one guy in particular that runs a carpet crew here at the same store I do started asking me questions and this and that about the test. He was really concerned. He's really bad at taking written tests and stuff like that. He was scared the whole time we was doing that. He actually passed his... Uh, hardwood laminate and vinyl plank certification and he passed his carpet certification. He was almost, I think he might have been the highest score on the carpet and I think he was the third highest in the hardwood laminate and vinyl plank certification on his written test. So, and again, he was, he asked me numerous questions leading up to the certification and so forth and so forth and Yesterday, he called me after the certifications were over and all that. He called me, asked me some technical questions about a product he was installing. You know, I give him the manufacturer's technical support. I give him their phone number because I have it stored in my phone. Every installer needs to have stuff like that. So when you have questions, you can call somebody. And uh, after he got his answers and stuff, he's like, hey, you'd be proud of me. I was like, oh yeah? He goes, yeah, I did, blah, 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 blah. 
on a job. And it's like something that he normally wouldn't do. But since he learned from the classes, he's now doing that on his jobs. And he's going to be a piece of paper. And, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a piece of paper, yeah. But, I mean, first off right there, that goes to tell you, it will work if you work it. You know, not only do you get the satisfaction of completing something and being certified and stuff like that, you know, getting your little piece of paper and blah, blah, blah. It helps you on your job to do the right, make the right decisions and do it properly where you can feel good about your job. You, you keep you from having a call back. You know, you just learn so much. And uh, he's putting it to use, okay? He's taking that stuff and he's practicing it on his jobs, his daily jobs now. So I just think that that's phenomenal. That's what CFI, NFIC, that's what they like to do. They're changing the industry. One certification, one training at a time, one installer at a time, okay? So I want to encourage you guys. Again, I did a video about this here a while back. If you are not certified the manufacturers are getting stricter about this certain product they only want a certified installer messing with them so if you're not certified you might not get that job or if something goes wrong on that job you might end up eating it. you paying for that job out of your pocket you know one job one job if you're commercial or something like that one single job can make or break a business if you if you're bidding on a commercial job it could be well over a hundred thousand dollars do you have a hundred thousand dollars in your pocket to pay for that job yeah something like that happen hmm? yeah no we all got insurance should have supposed to have all that good stuff but again one job is qualified to do the job. I looked it up online. He's the only certified guy in my area. I'm super happy with the process, with everything he did. Guy really knew what he was doing. So, okay. I, just a few years ago, before getting certified, okay, I just started this stuff in 2019. When I first heard about CFI or any of the organizations as far as I'm concerned. So, 2019 is when I started taking classes, getting certified and stuff. At that time, okay, that's four years, okay? From 2019 to 2023. 2023 is like almost half over, so four years. Uh, what do you want to do in four years? Are you making six dollars a yard, five dollars a yard, four dollars a yard? In six years, four years, I mean, do you still want to be making four dollars a yard, six dollars a yard, whatever you're making now? I, this is from my own experience, and yes, I sub from a store, okay, just like a lot of guys do. I sub from a flooring store. Um, was getting four dollars a yard four dollars and five cents a yard when i moved here from tucson in 2019. Okay. since my certification proper training and all that stuff and just proven the knowledge and quality installations which i could not do with this level by no means if i did not take those classes those courses certification training and getting certified i could not do the work that i do absolutely not you guys can go back and look at my youtube channel from five years ago and then look at it now a uh, huge difference in the way i install and stuff so again i went from we'll just say 
I maximized my pay 150% in four years, okay? Where do you want to be? Can't say next week, next month. You can't say next year because well, in fact, in the past year and a half or two years, things have dramatically increased for me. So they went from $4.05 up to like $6.75 or something like that. And then here recently, at the beginning of March this year, I actually even increased my rates again. So again, 150% more now than I was before I started the training. So you think about that. If you're making, we'll just say, if you're making a yardage, a lot of people guys go in and they do the jobs according to the yardage. Oh, we gotta get 100 yards a day done or we ain't gonna make no money. Well, imagine if you could go in and do 40 yards a day and still make, uh, well, we'll just cut that in half, 50 yards. If you could go in and do 50 yards of carpet a day and still make uh, half as much as you would. I mean, 50% more than you would if you did 100 yards. Is that not a good trade? Mm -hmm. 50 yards, you're making 50% more than you would if you installed 100 yards. That's pretty phenomenal. That's a 150% increase. So if you made $50, obviously you didn't, if you made $50, you'd be making $150 on the same amount of work. That's a daggum good increase, okay? So not only is it good for marketing and stuff like that, very, very good for your, uh, your, pack, your back pocket, very good financially, all that stuff. See if I... NFIC is a win-win. I'm gonna challenge you guys. Do you want to be making your same amount in four years, in five years, in three years, in two years? Hmm? You can dramatically, you can skip decades of trial and error from one class, one training session. You can skip a decade. You can just fly right by, fly right by people. If you've just started the industry, You've been doing it two years, you go get certified, you can outperform people that's been doing it 10, 15 years, 20 years. I'm just saying, facts, okay? Go get yourself, look on the website, cfi.net, or uh, yeah, I think it's it, certified flooring installers. Look it up online, nfic.net, I think it's what it is. Anyway natural fiber insulation certifications. Go check these things out. Improve your life. All overall, overall life, improving life changing. Go do it.